Hello, Brigadiers and Brigadettes and hockey fans alike. This is your captain speaking. Welcome to my channel. Now let's jump into some hockey content. Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday, and we're just going to jump right on into the video. And as you can see, if you're here, I'm talking about how the Elvis Mers Lincoln's injury could potentially help the Blue Jackets. Don't click off or give me a thumbs down before I start. We're just going to talk about it. So, yeah. The Elvis Mers Lincoln's injury occurred, I believe, Wednesday. He got hurt in warm-ups and is listed on the day-to-day -day IR, which means that he's just going day-by-day -day to deal with this injury. I know that's not what Blue Jackets fans like myself would want to hear, but there is potential for this to work out for us in a positive way, which is unfortunate for Elvis. The sad but understandable reality is that in sports, the professional teams will always be looking for ways to get better and will move a fan favorite if they can get better overall. Now, Elvis would definitely not be exempt from this as the Blue Jackets are known to have a quality goaltending uh, core depth, whatever you want to call it, and with injury, unfortunately, for Elvis comes opportunity. So, what exactly do I mean by that? I mean that Taxi Squad goalie Matisse Kivlinix will be filling in for Elvis for at least a few games and he's going to be dealing with the injury and then this is kind of where the controversy, controversy starts. Since last season, there's been kind of hushed talks, I'd say, about potentially them trading either Corpus Solo or Elvis, and it seems to be that they want to do that in order to get more depth. Now, whether that would be offensive or defensive, I don't know. But realistically, I could see that happening. Jonas Corpus Solo and Elvis Merzlikens have both played very well last year, and they show that they could be quality goalies in the NHL. The question is, which one would you pick to be the quality starter, the franchise future, you know, the number one goalie in it? I'm not sure if it's foolproof, but I do think that I would pick Corpus Solo. Part of it, I would say, is probably just bias because I have always been a big Corpy fan. And, you know, I viewed him as the guy that's going to supplant, take over for Bob once he left through retirement, free agency, whatever. So when Bob left in free agency, Sergei Bobrovsky, I thought this is Corpus Solo's time to shine. And he has played well. I'm thinking that if Kiv Linux does well for a stretch that you could see maybe over the next two weeks and then that Corpy also plays well, that Yormo Kekalainen in our GM would possibly look for a way to sniff out a trade offer for Elvis Merzlikens. One team that I'd be really interested to see here, which would be a trade between Columbus and the Edmonton Oilers. Now, there's multiple trades we could look at here and say there's a potential for them but Edmonton's one that really stuck out to me. Their goaltending has not been great this year. It kind of seems to be the same story, you know, good offensive team, they can't keep the puck out of the net. Same old, same old. And, again, right now I don't think they have a goalie that could help and fix their problems right away with them on the roster. Now, I do think that Elvis' goals against average and save percentage would go up if he played for Edmonton. But I do also think... He would be a better goalie than what they have now. I'm not sure who they'd want to send over in a trade, but we could use some offensive depth, and there's a few guys on the Oilers that I would really like for us to get if this trade happened. Now, I don't think we can get multiple of these guys, but there is one that I do have in mind. So if a trade did occur, it would probably be a one-for-one, one, since Elvis only has one year left on his contract after the season. Maybe a pick could be involved, who knows? This is all speculation, me just talking this is not me saying oh i hope elvis gets traded ideally i'd like whatever would be best for the team and the player now that's where the one guy i'd like to get comes to mind and i think it would be a great opportunity if we did get this player um if edmonton was really serious about getting a better goalie now how would that go with the two-week quarantine i do believe that if you get traded from a u.s team this season to a canadian team you have to quarantine for 14 days so that would be something that would probably have to happen sooner rather than later if this trade was to occur. Now, I don't know if you figured out who I want us to get with this trade, but if you have, send it down below in the comments, and we'll see if you're right. If you are right, I will like your comment, and if not, then I'll just comment and be like, nice one, but not it. Now, at the end of the day, is this a stretch? Yes, it is. However, Corpy has shown that he can be the number one goalie. I do believe that. And then, you know, we've talked about Keith Lennox for a while. I don't think that we really dive too much into him on this channel. But I know with a lot of people that I talk to that are Blue Jackets fans and then hockey fans that I talk to in general, including my friends, 
you know, I have talked about how Matisse Kivalinic is supposed to be this goalie of the future for us, where at least he's supposed to be a good backup. He's only, I think, played in six games in the NHL, and his numbers haven't been anything to, you know, write home about. But there's been some flash with that. And, you know, worst comes to worst, I think that Kevin Lennox could be a good backup. And then, if that was the case, we'd have Corpus Allo and Kevin Lennox in net. Now, obviously, you only need two goalies if that's the case. So then, who's the odd man out? It would be Elvis. But again, this is not me being hateful of Elvis. Elvis. He's one of my favorite goalies. It just seems to be one of those things that this could happen. Now, I'm not sure that this will be an event where this injury sparks a trade, but I can probably guarantee, in my opinion, and it seems to be the opinion of at least a few others, that either this season or in the off season there will be a trade with one of our goalies. One of our goalies is going to be leaving town. That seems to be the consensus, and I think that'll be through a trade in order to help this team we need more offensive depth. This team can't score goals. I think a lot of that can be attributed to the power play. Um, I think we're about average at 5-on-5 five five goals per game. So that's not the end-all be-all. But, you know, we need to find a way to score more goals. I am sick and tired of being that team that cannot score goals. It is frustrating. It is aggravating. It's one of those things in the playoffs, too. It always seems to be, you know, that's what she wrote. And it's got to stop. So... Just to recap, basically, the whole point of this video is to say that with this injury, maybe Corpus Allo and Cave Linux play well enough in Elvis's absence, and this opens up Yarmo's eyes, our GM, in order to make a trade for the Latvian and go away to go somewhere else. There's a few markets he could go to. Am I saying that the Oilers are the only team that this could happen with? No, that's not exactly the case. There's many teams that this could probably happen to. His deal is affordable. If you traded for him now, you'd basically get a year and a half of use out of him. He'd probably provide positive goaltending. Uh, he handles the puck at times when he shouldn't, but that can be fixed relatively easily. Uh, it's just a habit you're going to have to break. So yeah, I'm not exactly saying that the Oilers are the only team that this could happen with, or that this is even going to happen right away. But there is a possibility that there could be a positive outlook on this. Again, I hope that Elvis Merzlikens is healthy. And whatever is best for the team, I will accept. I'm not saying ship him out, but I'm saying maybe this could be something that happens. But... It's an interesting idea to explore, and so that's why I decided to explore it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think this is something that could happen with his injury, that there's talk about him getting traded if Kiv Linux plays well? And, you know, like and subscribe. Everybody stay safe, have a great day, and stay away from COVID. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes, and hockey fans in general. This is your captain signing off. Have a great week.